Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at The Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of Web of Life. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 1. They told you to study the full web shown below and they want us to find out which one of the following below is correct. Now, whenever you tackle questions with a food web like this, the first thing I want you guys to do is to label these two things. First, label who is the food producer. Second, label who is the king. Now, what do I mean by food producer? Food producer means this is an organism that makes food. Basically, which group of organisms are the ones that can make their own food? We call them plants. And remember, for plants, if they make their own food, Will they eat other organisms or will they get eaten? They would get eaten. So if they get eaten, this means would there be arrows pointing towards them or pointing away from them? They would only have arrows pointing away from them. So let's look at this food web. Can you spot which organisms have arrows pointing away from them only? One of them is R. Can you see that the arrows here are being pointed away? So we know R is a food producer, which I'm going to label as FP for short. Now, are there any other food producers here? If you look carefully, you'll notice that T is another food producer. And how do we know T is a food producer? Same thing. You can see that there are arrows pointing away from it. Now that we have identified the food producer, let's find out which organism here is the king. Now, to find out which organism is the king, it is quite simple. Think about this. If this organism is the king of this food web, do you think the king will get eaten? No. In fact, the king would eat other organisms. And since we know that the king does not get eaten and eats other organisms, will there be arrows pointing towards it or away from it? There would only be arrows pointing towards it. So if you look at this entire food web, which organism has arrows pointing towards it only? We can see clearly one of them is organism W. So we know that W is the king. I'm going to draw a crown next to it to represent the king. Now, which other organism is also a king? We also have organism S because the arrows are pointing towards it. So same thing. Let me draw a crown for it. And with that, are there any other kings? No. Now, since we have already identified who are the food producers and kings, we are ready to take a look at the question. Now, for the first part of the question, they ask which organism here is the prey only. Now, in order to find out which one is the prey, we have to recall, what do we consider a prey? Is a prey any organism that gets eaten? No, be very careful. A prey has to be an animal. Can it be a plant that's being eaten? No. So we know that the prey has to be an animal that is being eaten. Now, do you know that there is a special type of animal that is only being eaten? Which group of animals do we call this? Is it the carnivores, the omnivores, or the herbivores? We call them the herbivores. So I'm going to label this with the letter H. And this is because herbivores feed only on what? They feed only on plants. Do they eat other animals? No, but will they get eaten by other animals? Definitely. So it must be a prey. So with that, let's go and label in the food web above which organisms here are the herbivores. Remember, herbivores feed only on what? Feed only on plants, which means there should be arrows pointing from the plant into the herbivore stomach. Which organism represents that? If you look at the diagram, you can see R goes into P's mouth. And you look at P, does it feed on any other organisms? No, so we know P is a herbivore. Now, what about V? If you look at V, you can see that V also feeds on R, which is a food producer. Can I say that V is a herbivore? Yes, because if you look at V, does V feed on anything else? No, it feeds only on plants, so it has to be a herbivore. Now, the thing is, is R the only food producer? No. Which is the other food producer here? We also have T. So if you look at T, 
Let's see which organism feeds on it. First of all, we can see T is eaten by Q. Now, can I say Q is a herbivore? Answer is no. How come I cannot? Remember, herbivores feed only on plants. But if you look at the food web, is Q feeding only on plants? No. Q also feeds on P, which is an animal. Which means, is Q considered a herbivore? No, it feeds on both plants and animals. In fact, what do we call animals that feed on both plants and animals? We call them omnivores. So we know Q is not. Now what about you? If you look at you, does it feed only on plants? Yes, yeah, so this is definitely a herbivore. Now what about W? If you look at W, does it feed only on plants? No, you can see it feeds not only on plants, but also on U and V. So is W a herbivore? No. So we are done labeling the herbivores already. We know that the herbivores have to be P, U, and V. So with that, do you realize we got our answer already? Answer should be option 4. But let's check the rest just to be safe. Now what about the predator? If we want the predator only, think about this. Predator means it must be an animal that feeds on other animals. Do you think the predator only will get eaten by other animals? No. Remember, we labeled this in the full web earlier, you know. What do we call this organism that's the predator only? We call this the king. And did we already identify the king? Definitely. Who is the king here? We know the king is S and W. So we know it's either option one or four. And now let's go on to the last one. We need to find out which one are both prey and predator. Now we already know who is the prey, right? Prey is which group of organisms? Prey is the herbivore. So can we pick the herbivore here? No, so I'm gonna cross this out. Next, what about for predator? Predator, we already said, right? Predator is the king, which means, can we choose the king here? No, so this one is out. Lastly, we also labeled which group of organisms? We also labeled the food producer, am I right? Now, if you look at the food producer, it is a plant. Can a plant be considered a prey and predator? No, prey and predator must belong to which group of organisms? Can it be a plant? No, it has to be an animal. So this is out also. Which means, if you want to find out which one is both prey and predator, we just have to look out for all the organisms except for the herbivore, the king, and the food producer. Now, if you look at the diagram, have we labeled these organisms already? Yes, yeah, so everything besides the herbivore, the food producer, and the king, which organisms are we left with? We are only left with Q. That's why if you look at this, the only possible answer has to be option 4. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!